some very good players on their team. Wow. So let's see if um, Star Galaxy can live up to the challenge. Also, if we beat uh, RUV, it will be a, a really a milestone for HOE, I think. I believe so as well. That's that's reason enough to go out out of, out on the town and have drinks with your entire clan because this is where the a celebration is. If uh, Hoa can win this uh, this clan war. But yeah. <laughs> but the game is loading up. Are you going to do the full introductions this time? Yes, I will do. Okay. Great. Should I use this Korean like voice? I maybe I feel fair. Oh, you so can do it. We're going to start in the top left corner. Uh, it's Star Galaxy, is it? It is. Okay. In the top right hand side corner, it's Star HOA Star Galaxy. And in the top left hand side corner, it's RUV's C Mutak, with it's, a it's, Korean it's, player. It's the other way around. <laughs> on the right side, oh. on the right hand side, we have C Motok, and on the left hand side, we have Hoa Star Galaxy. But let's see, it does not really matter. <laughs> they have both up the same opportunities. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if uh, Star Galaxy can keep the advantage for Hoa in this game, or if RUW will bring it back with their player C Motok. But I guess his real name, uh, his uh, real ID is Motok. That's at least the name that I found on uh, Liquipedia, so let's just call him Motok. Yeah, or uh, Motok, like uh, in Korean, Motoku. What does that mean? I don't know, but just this uh, Korean accent. Oh, okay. And they speak English, like they say English. -y. And mm. uh, always add a syllable like U after the after they say a word or something like that. Okay. Wow, I, I, I really am not familiar with anything um, with anything Korean actually, except with the players that play in uh, in Code S and in Europe and on NA in uh, WCS, but for the language I really don't know anything. I d and even though I do speak quite a lot of languages, I'm, I mean I speak Dutch, I speak English, French, German, and a little bit of Slovak even. But about other other languages, I really don't know anything. But well, let's yeah, go ahead. Well, Korean is a little bit easier, um, maybe easier than English to learn. But as I said, I stopped uh, studying because I'm a lazy ass guy. So <laughs> that's the best reason to stop studying, right? Yeah. Okay, but like, let's get back to the to the game and the openings because we do see Mota going for that CC first, going into two barracks right after that, not getting any gas just yet. So he just wants to be safe for any pressure coming from uh, Star Galaxy side of the map, and the SCV scout is moving out as well. On his side of the map, we do see a very standard opening with that gateway into Cybernetic Score. He's not going for that. Um, for that cyber, uh, for the gateway research just yet, he's instead going to go for the mothership core as soon as he can. To also, get I, what I don't like about Stargate, Star Galaxy's uh, position that he isn't going for a two gas, two fast gases, and he could do a proxy oracle or even just an oracle opening. Yes, he's just he just wants to get that, those extra minerals to go for a very early expansion. And he is putting it down at 29 supply, and it could have been a lot faster, but he just wants to be very safe in this play. But when he reaches the base of Motok, in this case, there are, is a bunker done already with three marines uh, with three marines in it. I don't believe that he spotted the CC just yet. No, he did not see anything. So let's see if he is going up that ramp to confirm it, because this could still be a one. A one base strategy, but also the mothership core is making it inside the main base. So I guess he will know from the timing of the third barracks that there will be an expansion going. Uh, be yeah, that there is an expansion built as well. Yeah, he's seen it, and he's making the forge. So it's a really good decision. I would make a really fast uh, robotics uh, facility too. Exactly. That would be a very, a very wise uh, decision. I don't think that a Stargate at this time of the game will be 
any good anymore because there is plenty of marines out and the gas are also being taken so gas will be uh, so Stimpak will be researched quite soon Te the first tech lab is already being dropped down and I guess the first upgrade we will see from that uh, from that tech lab is the Stimpak but no tech being out just yet and it will take some time before we will before we will see some medevacs. Oh, one stalker being picked off at the front. No, he does survive. He can just get away just in time. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, Starby actually goes for a charged Archon composition this time because he's making the plus one armor. Yes, and he should go for that. Oh, he's Maybe going not. for a, robot a robotics facility, which is really weird. Usually I hear from, uh, from the better players that if you're going for Colossus, you just want to maximize your damage output so yeah. you go for the attack upgrade but if you want to uh, go for a charge lot um, charge lot archon composition you get that army so you can keep those uh, keep those zealots alive as long as possible so this uh, nine marine force should do a lot of damage because yeah, there is a sentry being focused down immediately yeah. stutter stepping to get a rid of the and the mother she core is it is dead, and only one zealot left. These are Such very a good micro from uh, Muta. Yes, there is, these are completely unupgraded marines, but still they can pick off the zealots. And they are going for the probe line directly after. It's still nice, they stepping. Four marines left still, one of which is still at full health. <laughs> they're just trying to focus down those probes, and there went there were eight. Eight probes being killed in that little engagement, which brings Motok to the uh, to the advantage when it comes to economy. He is ahead in the worker count and also in the with the mules. They will help a lot as well. And he not not forget that he has a third base already taken. <laughs> exactly, he's starting to mine from that just as uh, just as we speak, turning it into an orbital command, and he's going to go. Oh, he is actually getting Stimpak and Combat Shield at the same time, also getting those Marauders out already. And his macro is just starting to kick um, to kick in, getting those extra barracks down as well. And now he will land the Stargate on the reactor that was built by the factory as well, so he can get those medevacs out in pairs. Actually, you see, Motak just makes me want to play Terran again. <laughs> Yes, but one of the advantages that Star Galaxy has going for him at this time, he ha does have the upgrade lead for uh, for at least a little while, and I guess that there will also not be a second engineering bay as well, since there is no armory being built just yet. If the armory, he could uh, go. Yeah, if he was a little bit earlier, it would be very wise to get that armory going with an extra engineering bay as well to get uh, to get two one going immediately. That's not the option he's going for. It looks like he just wants to, stand to stick to one engineering bay for now. But uh, this upcoming attack should do a lot of damage because there is no storm available. Only just one immortal and mm, only two uh, force fields. So exactly, there's not a whole lot on the map. And there are too. And there and they go. It's done for Star Galaxy. This is game. Listen, the Marines make it into the main base, all the units get targeted down. The Potent Overcharge is wreaking havoc on all these Marines and on the Marauders, but some very nice pickup micro. It does not look like it's going to be enough. He's focusing down the Nexus. And, well, maybe he can hold it off, hold this off. Yes, he does retreat with those medevacs, but the, it will not cost. be long before round two will be there. The mothership core did get sniped off, so he will not have photon overcharge once. Also, the probes are trying to whisper to the Nexus to charge a lot faster. Exactly. Well, did you actually know that if you chrono boost, uh, chrono boost a building that is regenerating shields, it will actually regenerate the shields a lot quicker? Yeah, I noticed that too. I really don't know why that is, but it is very, uh, yeah, it's very useful to know. Not enough units at the, at the ramp for Star Galaxy, and the units can just stutter step. No sentries locking in any units, but even if he locks them in, there are no units to kill him. Very nice feedbacks were going down on the medevacs, but it just did not do a whole lot, and the medevacs are, are all alive. 
when Immortal is trying to save the day, but this Nexus is falling, and there's a lot of units at the doorstep of Galaxy, Star Galaxy, and there's a GG. Motok bringing the score back to a 1-1 tie score. And... Uh, oh my god. I just do got a... Like a start of two advertisement, like new feature, existing modes, or 